don't you look at all that cheese. So gooey and cheesy. Have you ever wondered what type of cheese the Middle Eastern Desert Cafe uses? Or where to even get it? You're in luck. Today, I'm going to show you how to make Neblasi cheese right at home, so stick around. Delicious. To make the blessed cheese, we need to start out with fresh unboiled milk. Boiling changes the milk in a way that prevents the formation of the large firm curds needed to make the cheese. But don't worry, the cheese will be boiled after it's finished to sterilize it. First things first. Heat up the milk to 40 degrees Celsius or until slightly warm to the touch. Crush the tablet of uh, rennet using the back of the spoon and then add it to a cup of water, stir it in to dissolve completely. Then add it to the milk. Once you add the rennet to the milk, please do not disturb the milk in any way. Cover it and place it in a warm place. Leave it undisturbed for 2 hours. After 2 hours you'll find that the milk has been separated into one big block of cheese and whey. Transfer the cheese to a colander lined with cheesecloth and if you can't find cheesecloth, they're really cheap on Amazon, link is in the description. You want to keep the cheese curds as big as possible, that's why you use a big plate or a big ladle. After a couple of hours, when the cheese starts to firm up, add a little salt to it, gather up all the edges of the cloth, and put something heavy on top of it so we can help it drain all the water for overnight. The next morning you should see the cheese in one solid mass. Flip it over onto a plate, sprinkle with salt, and sprinkle on top of it, then cover it up, and then add something heavy on top of it. And back in the fridge it goes. For the next couple of days, you want to do the same method. Pull it out, sprinkle some salt, then add it back in the fridge again. For, this, is, this happens for seven days until the cheese becomes really hard and becomes really salty. After the seven days, there you have it. Got a blessy cheese ready to consume. You can either eat it like that or make your favorite sweets out of it. 
and thank you guys for watching the video please uh if you like the video please subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one delicious